You know, I've always felt deep, deep down that Alex Jones would really fit in the wrestling fan community. The psychosis, the conspiratorial nature of people. He would be at home. He could talk about interdimensional aliens and their plot to take over the world. Space being a fucking hologram and all this other crazy bullshit. And people in the wrestling community would fucking believe it. The same type of people that think Roman Reigns freaking faked his cancer. Thinks WWE faked his leukemia. Now look, I don't mind the occasional conspiracy theory from time to time. Because some have some basis of element in truth. And sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. And sometimes we find out down the road that the conspiracy theories were really conspiracy facts, such as the CIA introducing drugs into the inner cities in the 80s. These were things people believed as a conspiracy for years. It's true. It's fact. There's so many other things. You know, the vast majority of people out there believe that there is way more to the story about the JFK assassination five and a half decades later. You now got to the point where People that think it wasn't just Lee Harvey Oswald or it wasn't him at all are in the majority, not the minority. And it's those that stick stubbornly to the traditional story, if you will, as I would call it. Um, they're the ones that you could think of as a little bit crazy. But this whole thing about Roman Reigns and WWE faking his leukemia to get sympathy on him. I understand we live in a world of wrestling where it's all bullshit, it's all work, it's all scripted, it's all fake, it's all predetermined, whatever the hell you want to call it. But even for WWE, this would be low. And as much as I am quick to call out things that are a work, I find it very ironic that the same community of wrestling fans who seven plus years ago actually legitimately dumb dickedly thought that CM Punk was going to leave the fucking WWE with their marquee WWE title. After Money in the Bank 2011, now we come full circle and these same dipshits who couldn't see that was a planned work all the fuck along that the WWE botched horribly now think that the cancer that Roman Reigns was battling in his life again was fucking fake. How the hell does this compute? How the hell does this make any damn sense whatsoever? And it's just like, it's, if it's anything else, it's just a, yet another pathetic excuse for people to unnecessarily have to crap on Illinois, and specifically the Roman Reigns character. Look, if you think he's a glorified test, I get it. If you detest the fact that he was being pushed as a Cena 2.0, I get it. Stick to that shit, though, because that shit has validity. That shit you can bring to a conversation and have very good, well-thought-out, eloquent talking points about. But when you start getting to the point that you're believing that they're faking cancer, faking leukemia, in order to get Roman Reigns more over, like aside from just how stupid and ridiculous that sounds, think about the WWE, a publicly traded entity, sitting there and utilizing cancer as a storyline to get a guy sympathy. They would get crushed in the press. They would get crushed on the stock market. And those are two things that we all know nowadays that Vince McMahon lives to avoid at all costs. He doesn't want to get crushed in the mainstream press, and he most certainly doesn't want to get crushed on the stock market. And doing something like this just opens himself up to all these types of things and his company up to all types of things that any sensible company would just not have enough appetite for taking on that level of risk. There's too much at stake with too little to gain. That's just ridiculous. And the whole notion that they did it to try and get sympathy on him, frankly, the WWE has convinced themselves after all those years of Cena and these last few with Roman Reigns, that it doesn't matter whether fans boo or cheer. It just matters that they react. This company believes in the reaction business. That's what they're in now. They don't care about faces or heels. They kind of do on the back end when they try to edit out your boos for the guys that you're supposed to like that you really hate. But in the live moment, they will always try to put that dictatorial type of corporate fucking spin on it 
And you know this. So why the hell would they feel like they had to go such great lengths for Roman Reigns here? It makes absolutely no damn sense. Like, I get Sometimes it's hard to separate wrestling from reality because you're so used to everything being fake and a work and fucking wrestling. But every once in a while, things can be real. Like, Gino Bravo's death. Bang, bang, 18, 19 bullets in his body, a couple in his fucking head. Just because he worked in wrestling doesn't mean he didn't go, ho, 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 I got that couple of cigarettes for you. Bang, 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 bang. He's dead. You get it? There's no conspiracy there. There's no trying to fake it to get him over because he fucking sucked. He always sucked and he sucks just as much in death. But the bottom line is, is Dino Bravo is dead. That's real. That's legit. It's the same thing here with Roman Reigns. He had leukemia back over a decade ago, and as is prone to happen from time to time, it comes back and it can become a recurring chronic type of situation that you have to deal with throughout your life. And to think that the WWE and Roman Reigns would want to sit there and fake this, to me, is just the height of sheer stupidity. Bash on the dude all you want in terms of his character and how lame you thought it was. Shit on the WWE for forcing them down your throats. I get all that. But let's get a little grip on reality here. Is that too much to ask for? Like, really? Is that too much to ask for? Same idiots that thought CM Punk leaving the company was fucking real. Now think that Roman Reigns is K 